Well, good appropriate time of the day to you. I am Richard, and this is LMTDTMFFR, or oh, say it with me now, limited time offer, no vowels. And today we are playing Whispers of a Machine, which is a point-and-click adventure, as this is point-and-click Sundays. It's set in a cyberpunk future. It's a murder mystery investigation thing. And apparently, when you alt tab out of it, it screws up your screen entirely. So, give me just one second. And then, wow. Let's just check it's showing up on the screen. There we go, you can see what I saw there, going all weirding out. No, it's not correcting for you guys. Okay, give me a second. Jeez, what is going on there? I thought I had this licked. Alright, let's do it again. Wow, no. It really doesn't like that, does it? Well, maybe we won't be playing this today. There is no um, options. As you can see, you can see part of it. There are no options for um, graphics, for changing the screen size. Huh. Alright then, well, I guess. We're gonna do a different game then, if this one doesn't work here. Jeez. Okay, other game. Well, I guess we fall into the backup I had for this, which was going to be... Um... Uh... uh name of game escapes me temporarily. Oh, Beneath a Steel Sky. There we go. Or Beyond a Steel Sky, rather. So... Give me one second. That recently got a v update to the latest um, Unreal Engine, so we will try that and hope that this works. I really should have checked this out beforehand, but hey, <laughs> live tech problems. Ah, of course you will not see that because that is set to whisper still. And now, yeah, there we go. This is working. Well. Let us do that then. Alright, let's tinker around with the options quickly. Turn the music down a little bit. Windows border, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's all good. Game. My profile 1. Subtitles. No, no developer commentaries, as I've not played this, so I don't want to have the developers spoiling anything that goes along. Oh, okay. So, not quite point and click, not if we're moving like that. Right, English, speech language English, English British. Should really be English Australian, as this is the Australian. As it's set in Australia. Or at least the original was. Hey. Okay then, Beyond the Steel Sky? Show me what you're beyond. I'd already decided it was going to be my last night in Max's village. I was sorry to be leaving, but I was restless again. Beware! The day grows dark, and demons stalk the gap by night. Harsh old woman, stop your superstitious nonsense. Besides, this is the best time of day for fishing, eh, Marlo? Yes, Dad. Look, Foster, I use these broken sensors to make a fish alarm. It detects the fish before it bites. Nice work, Milo. Milo was just like me as a boy. And the tech skills I'd taught him would help the village after I left. 
Left? Do you really Where are you off to? Go, to? How can we ever pay you back for all you've done? It's been my pleasure, Max. One of Anita's pies will be payment enough. I owed the Gap folk so much. My first tribe fostered me when I was orphaned all those years ago. They taught me how to recycle tech scavenged from city dumps. Soon, I even built myself a playmate. I'm your friend. Call me Joe. Joey. <laughs> Joey and I were always together. As I grew, I upgraded him. He became the best friend I ever had. But then... Foster! Foster, wake up! The sensors detect a fish! It's a big one! Is that a body? Oh, no! Ah! It was no fish. 10 out of 10 on fish Whoa. recognition. Wow, that is loud. What are they? Max! Drop him, you... Dad! Foster! Help me! Help me! Milo had gone. The machine, too. Oh, riders had left something. Yeah, behind. finger. Max? Milo? What's happened, Foster? Where's my son? Max? Max? Oh, no! I told them. I told them there were demons stalking the dark. You could have had a different voice actress. The stalker that attacked us was a machine, not a demon. Please, Foster, I don't understand. What... what happened? I told Anita everything I could. Machine was that other thing, then Tokyo Kid. I'm going to the city. Max was barely conscious. I could only hope that with Anita's loving care, he would recover. As oh my god, me, he's still wearing his I had to follow teddy Milo bear. And his captors immediately. Nice. Teddy bear top, that was a thing I'll he was wearing in the original. Home, Anita. I promise. Thank you, Foster. I know you will. Dawn was breaking as I left the village. The featureless wastes of the gap stretched away from me. Night followed day, then day dawned once more. Time lost meaning as the tracks beckoned me ever forward. Determination had long replaced sadness. Whatever it took, I would find Milo. The tracks were barely visible now, blurred by the wind. But I was sure I'd reach their destination soon. Then I saw the thing I feared the most approaching. Uh -oh. Sandstorm. Really? I battled forward, but now could only guess that my direction was correct. <laughs> I decided to save my energy and sank into an exhausted sleep. Maybe the old woman was right. Maybe demons did stalk the gap. For as it shrieked and thundered around me, the storm brought back my nightmare once more. Union City security was attacking. As my tribe screamed in terror, I salvaged Joey's motherboard. Taken captive, I couldn't save my village. But I survived when the security copter crashed, entering Union City. On the run, I soon got Joey working. Upgraded yet again, he helped me overthrow the evil that ran the city. As I left, I told him to make the citizens happy. Union City was no place for me. I wanted to be where I could do most good, helping the scattered people of the Gap. I woke to find the storm had passed. That was a complete telling of uh, Beneath a Steel Sky. The, but not without the first its game cool in the series. Work. The tracks were gone. Oh no. I was lost. And so, I feared, was Milo. Then, I heard them. Vultures? Gang gang birds. Scavengers. And in this wasteland, that meant only one thing. People. Dead people? Are they vultures? Or are they... 
crows. It's the boss man, you should check your inventory and view hints. Alright. Thank you. Despair turned to hope. I was sure that if I could find where the stalker had gone, I would find Milo. Then, in the distance, I saw a girl crouching over a body. Oh, okay, so this isn't point and click at all. Alright. So, point and click Sunday is no longer a point and click. Well, I guess it is. And I can do this. Alright, look, there's a gang gang bird. Need to speak to the girl. Right, but I wanted to talk to the gang gang bird or look at it. Ah, so you do the click gang -gang at least. Alright. Oh, Chef, get you to run. I mean, alright, okay. If you call that running. Yeah. I want to see the derelict car. No? It was an old car from long, long ago. Well, I can't actually go to it. Nope, because that. I oh okay. We got a note. Stop. The girl was holding a device to the lifeless hand. They're not humans. Hey, excuse me. Who the hell are you? I'm searching for a vehicle that. Oh no! They're gonna catch the shiny thing and fly off with it. Damn birds! Wait, I just... Whatever that device was, the bird had it now. Wow, you're weird. Alright. Objects that Foster can interact with are highlighted with a reticle. To interact with a First set to your screen on a reticle and move towards it. So, gang gang. Nope, not far. Close enough. Alright, but that does. And Foster is close enough, the reticle will animate! Click the left mouse button to call up the interact menu. And use the mouse cursor to highlight a menu option and click the left mouse button to select it. Alright. Uh, examine. Gang gang birds were eyeing up the corpse hungrily. I thought it was a robot of some description. Oh, look! Android fingers, pie, and crowbars. Uh, I probably want to give you the pie, but let's try the crowbar first of all, eh? No, you don't care. Alright. I could have bashed one of your heads in, I guess. There were a few things that would scare gang gangs, and a crowbar was not one of them. I would need to find another solution. I mean, it's going to be to use the pie, but let's look at the body. A corpse lay propped against a rock. Is it? I think it's a robot. Alright, so how do I do... There we go, pause menu. Okay, so I've got my objective. Alright, carbon, and here's the objects. A carbon steel crowbar with a swan neck. The remains of Anita's delicious pie. An electronically engineered mechanical finger, recently detached from its owner. Uh, and those are all the options. Alright, let's just have another look at the audio. It has saved them all, it was just aggressively loud. All right, okay. So these, and this has got hints. Nice. All right, can I? No. All right, gang, gang, bird. Have yourself a piece of pie. Minus one pie. Despite not looking point and clicky, this feels very point and clicky. The girl had been doing something to the guy's hand. I wondered what. He's a robot. He's really been dead for days. Isn't he? No. The logo. I'd seen it before. On the androids that had taken Milo. No, oh, so the you're an actual person. The girl was my only lead. I had to follow her. City. I was back. Well, I mean, just talk to Joey. 
Joey runs the city and you are Joey's friend. Achievement unlocked, your lessons are over. So says Steam, which is where I'm playing this version. Over the years, I'd heard rumors of how the city had thrived since I'd left Joey in charge. I was finally mm. going to see for myself. Doesn't look that great, does it? They off over here? I can't, no. Okay, but at least I don't. Uh, I don't know. Invisible. <laughs> Well, that's telling, isn't it? That doesn't... I mean, oh, okay, you can't climb over that. That's a shame. But yeah. Oh. Robot, coming back with some forwards. Are you... This game's Joey. Companion to interact with and talk to. No? Welcome, unregistered Gaplander. Well, hi. And you are? Community Welfare Droid 2CU at your service. To commence your Union City registration, please make your way to the immigration terminal. That's okay, I'm not here to register. I'm looking for... If you're looking for the immigration terminal, it's right over there. Thank you. Um, I'm looking for a missing kid. Can you help me find a missing kid? You want to file a missing persons report? Go register. Missing kid. Have you seen a boy called Milo? No, but I do see an unregistered Gaplander. Stop. Wow, that is annoying that he keeps moving things around. I've never seen a droid like you. And I've never seen a Gaplander like you. I bet. And what is it you do? I tell Gaplanders like you to visit the immigration terminal and register. There's the girl yeah, over there. Alright, okay, I mean... What are you doing? Uh, unless these things are changing because talking about them in a different order provides different dialogue, don't change them, I'm you annoying for a person. Vehicle that maybe came this way. A vehicle? Well, this is a freight entrance. Ah. So you're in the right place. Thank you right. for hologramming I need to find me. A boy called Milo. He was. What you need to find is the immigration terminal. It's right over there. Are you sure you can't help me find Milo? You want to file a missing persons report? Go register. Hmm. You already said that. Good. For a minute there, I thought I wasn't repeating myself enough. <laughs> Alright, tell me about the stalkers. Can you tell me about any vehicles that came through here a couple of nights ago. Read my lips. Immigration <laughs> terminal. Register. You. How do I go about registering? How do I register? Easy. Just go to the immigration terminal and you'll get a U chip for your temporary ID. Oh, is was that in the hand? It's indicated by these signs. All right. Thank Sounds you. easy. It is. Without it, you won't be able to interact with any of the Minos devices in this area. All right. What's Minos? What's this Minos you mentioned? Minos is the interconnected computer system that is everywhere and controls everything. And what does it stand for? Everything? My machine information. Mind information? For the convenience of all citizens. And, word to the wise, no U-chip, no access to the Minos devices. Not even the vending machines. Oh my so god. Go register. Um, alright, what's a U-chip? What exactly is a U-chip? Because it sounds like a Don't Futurama career chip. Anything? A U-chip stores your ID and personal data in a micro-implant. The immigration terminal is easy to find. What's keeping you? The correct route is indicated by these signs. Alright, thank you. Uh, tell me more about registration. Can you remind me how to register with Union City? The immigration terminal is back there in the garden. You right. want a U-chip? That's where you've got to go. Thanks. All right, tell me about the immigration How terminal. To immigration? The terminal is at the wall end of the garden. The correct route is indicated by these signs. 
soon as you've registered, you can access the Minos devices. All right. Thank you very much. Pleasure. All right. Oh, I wanted to examine you. Stop running away from me. The gang gangs look mean and ugly. Yeah, but are they? The gang gangs look All right, mean and ugly. Oh, look. There's the thing. But let's go and see the girl that we saw over here. No, stop following me. Oh, a swing! Can I sit on the swing and play on it? No? I thought I saw it briefly. No, alright. A roundabout. Oh, and there's a kid. Okay, well, let's examine the roundabout. A sturdy chain tethered the roundabout to the ground. Oh. Oh, there it is. And I guess the kid wants it. Hey, Gep Kid. Hey, kid. Hey, weird guy. My name's not weird guy. Oh, my name's not it's kid. A, it's easy to remember because it rhymes with pickle. So it does. No, it doesn't. I'm Foster. I remember that easy because your name rhymes with fossil and you're old. No, it doesn't. Thanks, kid. All right. What's this roundabout it's you're looking? Roundabout. It sucks. Stupid Mr. Hobbsworth put a chain on it. He said it was for safety. Then he dropped the chain on his foot. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. So, uh, tell me about this I'm missing kid. A boy about your age named Milo, who may have come through here. You're asking the right guy. I remember every face that's come through here since I was a little kid. Yeah? How many's that? Three. Like, at least twelve. How recently are we talking? Sometime over the past couple of nights. Oh, didn't know. Haven't seen no kids. Ha. Huh. All right, tell me more. Are you sure you haven't seen any children come through here? Nope, definitely would have remembered. What about anything suspicious? Suspicious? Yeah, there was this one guy. He kept asking me about cool, missing kid. Wearing a big coat and carrying a purse. I see. Nice one. And his name was Fossil. <laughs> I got the joke, kid. Uh, tell me about What's yourself. Story, Pixel. What well, you doing, I'm living eight here? Eight years old, and my birthday is in only sixty-four days. I'm really good at math, and I can even lift my sister. And she's super fat. <laughs> now. Comprehensive. Yep. Anything I can help you with today? Tell me more, kid. What do you do here? Well, me and my brother and my sister usually live in a tribe way over that way by the old burnt-down radio tower. But it's like so boring there. We come here for the action. What action? I can see why. All right. Is Did he a stalker? Come through here recently? Maybe. How recently is recently? Like two nights ago. Oh, then definitely no. But wait. Two nights ago, my brother Voxel, he saw this giant monster. What kind of monster? Like a totally huge, but not real one. Huge, but not real. I mean, Voxel says it's totally huge, and Ember says it's not real. Well, which is it? It can be both. I don't know what to believe. All right. Um, who's Voxel? Who's Voxel? Your brother. My brother, remember. Can I talk to him? I guess, but he's not as friendly or helpful as me. Real question is, will he talk to you? He's been hiding for like two days now. Won't speak to nobody but me. Can you tell me where to find him? Maybe he'll talk to me. Nuh-uh. You gotta earn that information. I don't know if I can trust you right now. So I'm gonna use the crowbar on the uh, roundabout chain in order to break it, so you will trust me. Your roundabout probably has a chain on it for a reason. Yeah, and that reason is Mr. Hobsworth is stupid. Yep. Can you fix it? Maybe. Uh, tell me more about the stalker. It had legs instead of wheels. Sounds like the monster. Have legs, though. This one did. Your brother saw a monster, right? You thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, that it 
was a giant daddy long legs. No. That your brother's monster was actually... A very small daddy long legs, but very close to him? No. I caught a daddy long legs once. What was your question? Doesn't matter. I mean, I, I believe daddy long legs aren't the same thing in every country. What we call a daddy long legs here in the UK is not what is called in America or Australia. So I am uncertain what kind of insect they are talking about. What's this about a giant monster? Right, so my brother Voxel, like two nights ago, it was night time, right? And we had been playing this massive game of buzzsaws and dynamos, so I was like, Wah! But, uh, where was I? The giant monster. Oh yeah, right. So, later that night, he wakes me up screaming about how he saw a giant monster. And? That's the end of my story. Don't tell Ember I told you. Are you Voxel? Have you got a split personality? Hmm. No, that doesn't What's seem likely at this stage. Voxel? Like, why is he hiding? Yeah. I told you, man. He thinks he saw a monster. Will you tell me where your brother is hiding? Maybe we can help each other out with our monster problems. Nuh uh. You gotta earn that information. Cool. I don't know if I can trust you right now. Alright, what more have you got about the monster? About this monster. Jeez, man, why are you so obsessed with monsters? They're not real. Bye. Hey, there are roundabouts. Need anything? I need you to tell me about the monsters. Right, chain. Examine the it. chain tethered the roundabout to the ground. Now, I don't know why I have a crowbar, but I'm going to use it. Move out of the way, kid. Independent traders. I bought from sketchier places out in the gap. Or oh, get. Oh, a workbench. Can I make the things? This workbench had been set up. Its structural integrity seemed over reliant on some old deflated tires. Hmm. Can I? No, I can't. Hey, what have we got? It's a gang gang. The gang gangs look mean and ugly. Uh, they always look mean and ugly. No, go away, you see whatever your name is. Oh, an old link terminal. Wow, that takes me back. I hadn't seen one of oh. those terminals in ten years. Link. The evil behind everything that happened all those years ago. The attack on my village. The death of my mother. I... Mm, I don't know that it was evil. I can't remember exactly. It was a machine that was trying to find the best way to do things and it wanted its father I think who was Foster not this Foster but his father the guy who invented the machine was also his father nothing happened probably because the machine had had its innards ripped out probably oh wow Lovely. There was something strange about the water, and there was an unmistakable smell of ozone. Up close, I could see the water was holographically concealing an electric fence. Water and electricity. Electric there was an electric man. fence back there. I wondered if it was live. You can hear it. Ow. Definitely. Cool. I was shocked to discover that it was. I wonder if no we can. No wonder the gang gangs kept clear of this death trap. Yeah, maybe we can get you and Gang Gang's in there. Where is the girl? You? No, what? Oh. Damn it. You're not the same person. You're a technician. You're a broken bollard. One of the posts was jammed. Alright, what if I. Inventory, I could... no? 
So let's see what repair. I called upon my extensive background in engineering. Yeah. Why? Workers. Hey, we fixed it. We? Yeah, Who are you? Piece of cake. Dude, council sure is shining in my direction today. Do you know how many times I've scanned this thing? The last scan must have done the trick. You see, I'm the diagnostician and tech expert around here. You're obviously Name's not. Obsworth. What can I do for you? Um, yeah, let's talk about Joey. Tell me about Joey. Praise Joey. Not a day goes by where I don't thank him for the happiness and prosperity he brought to Union City. Oh. Joey and I go way back. We must be talking about the same one. Well, it depends. Our Joey was kind, benevolent, generous, firm, resolute, moral, was magnanimous, proactive, and a friend to all citizens alike. Does that sound like your Joey? Yeah, sounds good. My Joey was more of a sarcastic pain in the... But he was my best friend. Um, alright. You seen hey, any kids? Have you by any chance seen a kid come through here? Where's the little dude headed? On an adventure, is he? Oh no. He was kidnapped. Snatched from his village. And brought this way. Oh, right. Uh, no. I, I haven't seen anything like that. Sorry. Now, if you don't mind, I've got to get back to work. Now I've got more questions for you, Giza. It was Hobsworth. Pretending to be hard at work. Excuse me. Well, hey there, stranger. How's your day going so far? Well, I. Great, I'll bet. Anything old Hobsworth can do for you? By the way, just so you know, I'm on the clock. Yes, of course, no problem. All right. Well, tell me about yourself. That'll be a great subject to answer with. Open with, sorry, but. I just want to say that if I was guessing right now, the missing kid is missing because Joey sent them out to get his best friend, but they accidentally grabbed a kid because Joey described it badly. What's your deal, or data is corrupted. I well, Joey was for the part human at the end of it. And what exactly does a diagnostician do? I find problems. And fix them? Uh, no, I just diagnose them. Minos fixes them. Ah, okay. All right. Uh, you see any stalkers? For a vehicle that might have passed this way. What kind of vehicle? Maybe I can help. Well, I didn't get a good look, but I know it has four giant legs. Legs? <laughs> Word to the wise man. Vehicles have wheels. Not this one. It walked on the sand, and it was um shaped like a dog. Really? Whoa! That doesn't sound like any vehicle I've ever heard of. And I've got more magazines under my bed than you can even imagine. I don't know what that means. It's really important I find this vehicle. Why? Because it kidnapped a child from my village. Well, that's a gap for you. It's like the Wild West, but, you know, without the West. I know it sounds crazy, but I've been tracking the missing child for... Nah, if it's missing children you're looking for, you best try the gap. Not here. Good day now. Oh, so you're... Hey! No, come back! Let's just... Rank off, I'm trying to inventory this man with a... Android finger. No? Alright, then we'll try talking, Hobsworth. Hobsworth, was it? Ah! Oh. Hello again, stranger. All right. Uh, tell Do me about you yourself need again. Technical expertise to be a diagnostician. Of course. You need to know exactly where to point your scanner. See, I come to work and I pick up my scanner here, and then I report the problem. My interventions are key to the smooth running of Union City. I mean, if I could get you to scan that the link terminal, here. that would be interesting. Dude, word of advice, huh? Since you're new here. Okay. Look, maybe kidnapping is the sort of thing you people do in the gap. But this is Union City, man. We're a proper society. Gotcha. 
Thanks. All right, bye. See you around, Hobsworth. Oh, before I forget, I really appreciate your patience back there when I was fixing the bridge. Let me thank you properly. Give me your hand. Uh, okay. Oh, I forgot. You're from the Gap. What's wrong with that? Well, you don't have a U-chip, so I can't give you any kudos. Kudos well, is the money. Like no thanks is enough for me. Keep a smile on your face. Hey man, I'll be back once I've got a chip. But you, gang gang. The bird's beak looked especially vicious. Alright. What if... I mean, you're of it, I mean, you're purple. So, that's great. But I saw you over here a moment ago. There you are. Girl. So, do that so I can do talks with you. Oh, wait, a sand pit? A sand pit. In the desert. The irony sure wasn't lost on me. I recognized the girl. She was the one who'd run away from me earlier. Are you... Um... It was the girl I'd seen earlier. Are you... Thingy's sister? Excuse me. Hello? Pixel. You! You fox? No, you're not Voxel. You're the guy in the desert! Voxel was a brother. the girl with the corpse. Okay, first of all, that guy was dead long before I got there. And yeah, I know that. All, it's your fault Big Steve stole my deed. Lost your what? To who? Do you realize how much potential trade you cost me? Honestly, I have no idea what you're talking about. Ugh. I trade. I'm a trader. Name's Ember. Ember. Ah, okay. So tell me about the dead body. What are you doing out there in the desert with that? Oh, were you stealing his kudos? Are you looking to trade something or what? Trade? Trade, you know, tech, gadgets, knickknacks from the gap or the city. I got a finger. I, do. I collect stuff, sell stuff, trade stuff. Only, since you're interfering, let Big Steve fly off with my deed, it'll be a while before I can make proper trades again. Now, excuse me. No, I want to keep. Yeah, exactly. My deed, man. D T T. Data transfer tool. Deet. What's the deed for? Duh, transferring data. That's what I was doing with that dead fella. Transferring his citizen ID for trading, yeah? You distracted me, and Big Steve nabbed it and flew off. Like I said, thanks. Alright, Big Steve is obviously Who's the name Steve? of the gang gang bird. You see all these birds all over the place? Big Steve's the purple one, with a beak full of my deet. Alright, tell me about your deet. Tell me about this deet. Simple. I collect IDs, and I use the deet to swap them. At least, I did, until Big Steve grabbed it. Oh, so I register and get a deed in my hand, and then I swap it for my new thing using your thing. All right, tell me so about the U Digging that guy's U chip out of his hand? What? No! Data transfer. I told you. I cloned his ID data onto the deed for later. What happens later? Well, you know. Maybe someone doesn't want to be found. I do swapsies. For a price? Uh, yeah. Ah, so I will go and get the money for fixing the thing. But alright, tell me about the missing kid. a boy named Milo who might have come through here recently. You're looking in the wrong place. Only boys around here are Pixel and Voxel. And the only thing they're missing is a few screws. <laughs> are you That's sure great. you haven't seen the young boy? Kind of hard to get lost in a crowd here. This place ain't exactly Aspiration Plaza. So no, I haven't seen your kid. Tell me about what the dead body. Out there in the desert with that corpse. Oh come on, I already told, I told you this. You Repeat already. you. I was dating his ID. Only now, Big Steve has my deed and ipso facto, the ID. Well, we'll get it. Did you see a strange vehicle come through this way? Strange? You mean like that stinky one there? No, this one had... Legs. Not seen anything like that. Maybe you didn't either, crazy guy. I'm not crazy. Sure you're not. I'm not. Honest. Tell me about Any the dead idea body again. Whose body that was out there? Dunno. Just some guy from the city. How do you know? Cause I got the citizen's ID from his U chip. Duh. What do you trade? Like I said. Sometimes people from outside want stuff from the inside. 
Sometimes people from inside want stuff from the outside. You did not say that at all, the but hey. Happen very often since inside's got like everything and free. But it happens. Suppose a guy from outside wanted to get inside. Ah, my most popular item. Until Big Steve took my deep, that is. All right, okay. I will go and deal with Big That's Steve for somehow for Thanks. you. Anytime. Oh wait, no. Come back if you want to talk business. For someone with a business interest in dead bodies, she seemed pretty normal. All right, I'm going to push this roundabout. The roundabout had seen better days, but it still looked functional. Good. All right, kiddo, prepare to be whizzed. All right. All right, Pixel. Let's talk. Hey, me again. How can I help? I want to see Voxel. Will you tell me where your brother is hiding? Maybe. Yeah, okay. You've done me a favor. Yeah, I did. He's hiding in a bench in the garden. I told him I wouldn't tell no one, but you seem okay. Thanks. Any idea how I can get more answers out of Voxel? I don't know, but I'm getting sick of the whole monster thing. Bye. Okay, I'll go. All right, first things first, let's go register our hand. And try and get some kudos out of thing to exchange. Hey, look, it's that sign. Oh. Oh, is this Voxel's hideout? Okay. All right, let's... Voxel was hiding out in the makeshift den. All right, let's talk to Voxel then. Ooh. All right, we'll look at that in a bit. What? My name is Foster. I've just got a few questions. Um. I wanted to ask you if you've seen any monsters. How do you know about the monster? I'm amazing. I saw it too. Truth is, I'm a monster hunter. I've been tracking a monster across the desert for days. Nice. I think he came through here. And I'm looking for someone brave enough to see it and live to tell the tale. Um, I saw it. Yeah. Can you describe it? It was big and beasty and it eats children and I could hear the screaming and it was fast and dark and silent. Slow down, one thing at a time. It was big, like a giant dog. Cool. A giant dog? That sounds like what I'm after. Did you see any children? No, but I heard them. Uh -oh. I heard kids crying inside its tummy. Why is it taking multiple kids from everywhere? It sneaked off into the city. After that, I got in here. No way am I going to let it get me. You've been in here for two days? Still alive, aren't I? Yeah, good for you. Did you get out to eat or drink or toilet? Uh, yeah, tell me about more about the monster. This giant dog. Where did you see it? I was playing buzz saws and dynamos with Pixel. I won, and he was really cross. Then, in the night, I woke up. It was totally dark. I'd heard this sound, like feet padding along the road. Big feet. And then I heard screams, children's screams. I ran over here and hid in my fort. And you've been in here ever since? Yeah. I'm hungry. I've given my food to uh, the last things. So there we go. Alright, tell me more about that. See the dog? I, Gang -gang I don't birds. think so. No one believes it even exists. I do. But you do, don't you? 
you believe me? Don't worry, Voxel. I'm on the hunt. I still want to talk How about it. How long ago did you see this dog? Two days. Uh, it was one, two, three, two. It was two nights ago. And you've been in here ever since? Yeah. I'm hungry. All right, so I must need to get you some food or something. All right. Wow, I can use a vending machine if I've got a U-chip. Any ideas on getting into the city? People go in and out of the main gate. Are you going to go in there and kill it? That's the sure. idea. That's what monster hunters do best. Then I'm going to bring Milo and the other children back out. You will? Oh, you better take this. What is it? Thanks. What is it? A firecracker. I was going to use it to kill the monster. But you can have it. Hmm. Can I use that on what Big do Steve? I do with this firecracker? I don't know. Throw it at the monster. But cover your ears. Why? What do I do with this firecracker? Whatever you want. It makes a scary bang. All right. How long ago did you see this dog? I said already, two nights ago. And you've been in here ever since? Yeah, I'm hungry. All right. Did you say you heard kids crying from inside the dog? Multiple I kids. Think so. Sure sounded like that. Do you know how I can get inside the city? I already said you need to get across the river and through the big doors. Can you tell me more about these missing kids? Only that I heard them inside the monster. All right. Bye. Hey, Thanks you a lot. anything to eat? If I find I'm anything, hungry. I'll get you stuff. Uh, I could keep an eye out. Mr. Hopsworth sometimes lets me have some of his lunch. He doesn't usually know that, though. Ah, understood. Let. All right. Axel's giant dog sounded a lot like the stalker that had taken Milo. Yeah. Now I was sure that the stalker had entered the city. There had to be a way in through the main gates. Cool. All right, welcome to Union City. Any questions regarding the immigration process? Please ask him over staff. No citizens are issued a chip to ask as many benefits of the citizens. Ship wherever you see the sign. All citizens are issued a U-chip. Alright, what do you say, hologram? Oh, did I turn it off? I wondered if the citizens minded being electronically tagged with these U-chips. Whatever happened to a good old-fashioned welcome mat? Whatever happened to a good old-fashioned welcome mat? I mean, those things don't convey the same ideas there was a strange smell and it was coming from the truck those birds weren't going to let me anywhere near the back of the truck all right okay how can i help can you help me excuse me got a problem yeah why are you following me you're an unregistered gaplander you don't have a u-chip which means i need to monitor you Personally. And how do I get a U-chip? By registering at the immigration terminal. Simple, huh? I'll get round to it. Why are you following me in particular? Why not anybody You're else? An unregistered Gaplander. And unregistered Gaplanders gotta be monitored. And there was I thinking I was special. You are not special. No, oh, well. Bye for now. Pleasure. All right, smelly truck. What else? We have we... You can't. Truck hood. Is there something in there? Oh. There was an empty space where the power cell should have been. Oh, okay. So what somebody took it. Oh, I can't climb over things. It's not one of those games, so I have to go all the way back. All right. Well, I'll follow it to get a. Hey, I want to examine you. The droid wasn't letting me out of her sight. Ah! I floated inside you. All right. What if now I want to use? Oh, what have I got? Android finger, firecracker, crowbar. Can I use the crowbar? Obviously not. All right. Okay. 
How can I be of assistance? You can't. The sign was directing me towards immigration. Right. Oh, hey, Hobsworth. It was Hobsworth, pretending to be hard at work. All right. Can I go in there? Door controls. Whatever it was trying to detect, I didn't have one. Ah, uh -huh. all right. Well then. I guess this was the immigration terminal. Let's use it. All right, let's do a funny walk and then use it. City registration terminal. Please place your hand below to receive your U chip implant. Ouch! I had a glove on. A U chip had been implanted into the palm of my hand. I wasn't sure how it was going to help me. I am. I'd learned to think twice before just slapping my hand on something. All right, now let's try opening this. Authorized citizen ID required. All right, so I'm not. Hey, you've buggered off. All right, where's Hobbsworth? I like that the people aren't static; uh, they're wandering around all over the place. That is a nice touch. I mean, he's doing his job, looking around, trying to find stuff. Hey. How can I help? Ah, I want to talk to you. Excuse me. Well. Wow. Registered Gaplander. Ah. Say that again, would you? Registered Gaplander. Thank Thanks. you. Wasn't so hard, was it? All right, tell me about okay. the missing kid. I'm looking for a young boy that's been kidnapped. Don't worry, we'll find him. All right, how? Is he a citizen? No. No, he's a Gaplander. Unregistered. Oh, well, unregistered Gaplanders cannot enter Union City. But it did. Therefore, I cannot help. Oh, you are infuriating. What do you do to see you? Community welfare droid to see you at your service. <laughs> you should have been called happy. And guide prospective citizens through the registration process. Well, you're clearly excellent at your job. Why, thank you. I'm the latest model, you know. You're probably not. How do I get into the city? Only citizens have access to the city. Okay, right. So... How do I become a citizen? You have already started the immigration procedure. Please be patient whilst your application is processed. All right. How long does it take? How long does it take to become a citizen? That data is not available at this time. Because it has never happened. Comfortable. Thanks for your time. All right. It was great meeting you. Where did you go, Hobbs? There. Wow, is that running? Okay. Come back. Come back. Come. Back. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to Hobbs. Hey, Hobbsworth. Hey, what can I do for you? Uh, what are kudos? What are these kudos you've mentioned? They reward people for doing what's right. Good for themselves, it's good for the city. Oh, it's money. They reward us for fulfilling our potential as proud Union City citizens. And under the benevolent gaze of the council, we are all happy. No one is ever sad. I figure your contribution to fixing that bollard earns you one. If you got a U chip. Sure do. Great. Hold out your hand. I just got a. Uh... There you go. Now you're even more awesome than you were before. Thanks. Oh, am I gonna Thank lose it when I Thank the council. swap over? That's a shame. So, you haven't seen any vehicles? Nothing like you've described. Sorry. About this missing kid. I can't help you there. Now, please stop asking. Alright. It makes me kind of uncomfortable, you know what I mean? This may sound like a stupid question, yeah. but how do yeah, I, I actually know. get into the city? Well, first thing would be to head over to the city gates. Uh, yes. If you got a valid ID, and just scan your U chip, and the bridge will open. Valid for what? Now, that is a stupid question. You need a vehicle to get through the big doors there. If you have transport clearance, like that old fella with the smelly truck, you just drive up, scan your ID, and roll right onto the elevator down to the cargo bay. All right. See you around, Hobsworth. Keep a smile on your face. Okay, okay, so there's the valid transporty thing. Let's try looking at it quickly.
Yes, hologram. The hologram showed a young woman in uniform. Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. Welcome to Union City. Why have you my got a... My name is Greta. Mm. It is my duty and pleasure to answer Microphone. any questions you may have about Union City and the local area. How may I help you today? Where's your legs? So is Joey still running things around here? He was, until just a few years ago. Oh, that okay. That sound good. Hope he didn't screw things up. Not at all, sir. Joey the Savior was a great leader. Citizen happiness reached unprecedented levels. Good to hear it. I happen to be an old friend of his. Oh, we're all friends of Joey, sir. Gone, but not forgotten. Ah, oh, gone? He's probably on the run. Is there some way I can speak to Joey? Sadly not, sir. Oh, you mean... He's not around at all? Gone to a better place, sir. Went to find peace after a lifetime of service. Some say he strode out into the gap one morning. Others say he took a boat at dusk and went to explore other lands. So who runs the city now? The Council of Elected Ministers, of course. All right. Hey, I got a U-chip. U-chip thing. What does it do? It allows you to interact with all the Minos devices in the area as well as storing all your personal information. Sounds kind of invasive. We prefer the word transformative, sir. So I need a vehicle to get into the city. At this vehicle entrance? Yes, that's right, sir. Don't seem to be many vehicles going through, though. How very observant of you, sir. Thank you. Quiet time of year, huh? Very. There was a delivery scheduled a couple of days ago, but it hasn't come through. Oh, that's the stinky food. I need to get into the city. Easily done, sir. Just drive your vehicle across the bridge and the gates will open up for you. My vehicle? Yes, your vehicle. You do have a vehicle, don't you? What if I don't? Well, you're about five years too late. This is a vehicle entrance now. Ah. Freight only, I'm afraid. Why are you wobbling your head? Else I can help with today? How Tell do I get across? Just drive your vehicle to the bridge, and the automated systems will open it for you. And if I don't have a vehicle? Pedestrians are required to make alternative transport arrangements at this entrance. Anything else I can do for you, sir? Hmm. All right, tell me about the missing kid. Child has been kidnapped from my village. From your village? Was the child a registered citizen of Union City? No, his name is Milo and Polite apology, Minos could only concern itself with registered citizens. Uh, I was hoping you'd be able to help. And isn't hope a wonderful thing? In the meantime, do you have any other queries? Yeah, I'd like to know about a different Missing kid. Have you Entirely seen several one. come through this gate in the past two days? Polite apology. I cannot discuss the details of other visitors. Okay then. Have you had any other reports of kidnapping? Not of Union citizens. All right. What about others? Gaplanders? Gaplanders are of no concern to Union City. Have a nice day. In Union City, sir, there is no other kind of day. It's they're not excellent days, they're just nice days and then all the same days. Alright, well, my plan is, get the firecracker, throw it at those birds over there, get whatever's out of the, whatever's in the van, out of the van, throw it at the waterfall, have you fly into the waterfall, get the tool. The bridge seemed to be operated by some sort of hand scanner. Error. Insufficient permission. Citizen ID required. Alright, okay, what are you? Connecting to Minos! Oh, can I buy things now? Alright, uh, give me Civic Guide. And she's resurrection. Helping you strive every day in every way. Here at the Aspiration Ministry, we believe... Oh, this is the Ministry of Aspiration. Okay, fine. Here at the Aspiration Ministry, we believe that every citizen has not just a right, but a duty to strive towards reaching the bottom. 
To that end, we'll advise, help support your journey to achieve your Union City goals. Key to this is a world famous kudos system of rewards, guaranteeing that every time you contribute to Union City, the moment is logged and appreciated, and reflected in your kudos statement of value. All we have to do is aspire. Why do you want me to reach the bottom? What's the bottom got to do with things? Locked. Oh, because I've got a temp ID? Alright. Caring for you deeply, mind and body. The Ministry of Wellbeing! Here at the Wellbeing Ministry, we understand that being a good citizen and striving always for the best can sometimes come at a health cost, a cost to health and well-being. And that's why you're always here to engage with you. Understanding and supporting your work, your relationships, your ambitions, your whole life. There is no problem so great that it cannot be soothed away with one of our unique tailored reflection spa programs. Choose from an hour, a day, or even a week. Whatever it takes. Nothing matters more to us than your well-being. Ministry of Safety. Protecting you from cradle to grave. Here at the Safety Ministry, you know that security is every citizen's birthright. From the day that the council took over, your safeguarding has been our priority. Your safeguarding? Alright, okay. This sounds weird. We live in a dangerous world. Beyond our great city walls, the gap is living testimony to what happens when a society lacks protection. Crime is rampant out there. Disorder, theft, violence, murder are everyday occurrences. Meanwhile, cities such as Hobart ride as such as Hobart ride roughshod over cowering communities, ignoring the rule of law and accepting civilized behaviour. No, oh, right, ignoring the rule of law and accepted civilized behavior. Right. Unfortunately, here in Union City, our security services are alert to the tiniest infraction, nipping anti-social behavior in the bud and eliminating the cancer of misbehavior before it has a chance to flourish. Rest assured, our city walls are unbreachable, our police force uncorruptible, and our duty to protect you all is sacrosanct. This is written slightly weird. All right. Ministry of Plenty. Giving what you want when you want it. Here at the Ministry of Plenty, uh, here at the Ministry of Plenty, we know that in a busy world, you expect to have your needs and desires fulfilled on demand. You spend a lifetime striving. The last thing you want is a lifetime spend waiting to be rewarded. And that's why we are committed to an instant supply and policy of ultimate fulfillment. Since the council took over running the city, we have brokered deals with suppliers across the continent to ensure that every product is the best available, and every product will arrive on time, in perfect condition. Whether you are upgrading to a new apartment, configuring a next-gen D-Roid, or just ordering tonight's easy all-you-can-eat uh, sofa buffet, you can be assured that of our 101% ultimate guarantee of quality, quantity, and super service. Remember, if you're eating it, plenty. Put it there. Ministry of Comfort. Soothing away life shaft's edges before you know they're there. Here at Comfort Ministry, we keep a low profile. I like to think of ourselves as an unseen servant, delivering your personalized invo environmental preferences wherever you go. Warming, cooling, showering, washing, cleaning, fixing, powering, polishing, just the way you want it. Our army of superb... Uh, superbly programmed and maintained droids, droids ensure that every citizen, no matter how low or high they are, receives the comfort they deserve. Now, of course, the more kudos you have, the more comfy you're going to be. That's just the Union City way. The Ministry of Comfort, we put the comfort in comfortable. Hmm. Nope, can't look at my temporary ID. Alright, let's have a look at home. Personal data. No photos. Huh. Can I do it? Is there a photo mode in this game, or is that an in game thing? Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh. Small self igniting stick. Okay. What are you? Oh, you're a vending machine. Oh, can I get food for you? Enjoy this little piece of happiness, courtesy of Minos. The machine ejected a garish, beclowned can of soda, labeled Spankles. You are currently at your maximum allotted Spankles allowance. Have a nice day. What is Spankles? Spankles, explode your mind! Can we... oh. 
Oh, and you can't, um, you can't mix items in your inventory, that's interesting. Alright, and this is just the same thing, and here we have Union City, oh my god, place look brutal there. The citizens will always be happy. Citizen, welcome to the abridged audiovisual Union City fact file. The Union City walls Joey? were forged in 1994 by a small team of resilient workers. A common misconception is that the team was formed of Australian citizens. This couldn't be further from the truth. The city wall was constructed using British steel imported, along with workers, from Hull in the United Kingdom. Many of the citizens of Union City can trace their ancestry back to that small and very dedicated group of immigrants. This concludes your requested fact. Please return for an all-new Union City fact. And remember, be vigilant. This message is sponsored by the Ministry of Comfort. Hmm, 1994 in Hull. I mean, 1994, I think, was when the original one came out. I don't know if they were based in Hull or not, but that would make sense. Citizen, welcome to the abridged audiovisual Union City Fact File. You may have noticed that there are a large number of gang gang birds in this area. These beautiful and appealing birds are a member of the cockatoo family and are categorized by a large wispy crest found on the top of their heads. Gang Gang are endemic to this region and are found in heavily populated areas. The birds may startle easily but they are particularly efficient predators and can often be found carrying non-food items that they have taken a shine to. This concludes your requested fact. Please return for an all-new Union City fact. And remember, be vigilant. Comfort this again? Is sponsored yeah. by the Ministry of Comfort. I wonder if any are actually Citizen, welcome to the abridged sponsored by any others. Union City fact file. My NOS is the system which underpins all of Union City. The system itself is founded on the concept of a shared space in the digital realm. Devices droids and information are connected together in this virtual space. This system forms the foundation of society in Union City and allows us to ensure that all citizens remain happy and compliant. Don't forget to collect your free can of spangles. This concludes your requested fact. Please return for an all new Union City fact. And remember, be vigilant. Against this what? Is sponsored by the Ministry Towards of what? Hmm. Citizen, welcome to the abridged audiovisual Union what City Fact File. The Spankles beverage was handcrafted within the walls of Union City. We are proud to offer you a free beverage containing no artificial colors, no artificial flavors, no preservatives, and water distilled right here in the city walls. Please collect your free can of Spangles today. Is it just the Spangles water? Spangles Company cannot be held accountable if you begin to taste artificial flavors or see artificial colors. Please drink responsibly. This concludes your requested fact. Please return for an all new Union City fact. And remember, be vigilant. This message is sponsored by the Ministry of Comfort. Citizen. Welcome to the abridged audiovisual Union City fact file. The Union City walls were forged in 1984 right, we did that. by a small team of resilient workers. A common misconception is that the team... The guy looked like he'd been out in the sun a bit too long. Do Smell you like want him. spankles? Sir, excuse me, sir. Are you... Whatever you're selling, I am buying. Oh, no, no, you're not a sir. A likely story. Name's Wendell. Joe Wendell. Nice to meet you. That <laughs> remains to be seen. Hey! Listen, you haven't seen a child come through here, have you? Several. Yeah, Pinch something of yours. No, he was kidnapped from a nearby village. Oh, oh, I see. Sorry to hear that. You're not the first I've heard talking about kids going missing in the gap. 
but I've never seen any come through here. Have you oh. asked those kids over by the playground? They've been here a lot longer than me. Yep, have asked them. Uh, tell me more. What was that you said about other missing kids? N nothing specific. Come on, try me. Oh, just rumors. Voices on the wind, campfire tales. One man's kidnapping is another man's wandered off and fell down an hole, says I. No kids <laughs> That's great. Here. Oh, except those young bucks over yonder. Sorry I can't help. All right. Tell me about what yourself. What are you doing here? Well, whilst Brucey's power cell remains as flat as a cow pat, not a whole lot. Who is Brucey? Are you trying to get in the city? Absolutely. Trying being the operative word. Tell me about a vehicle. Do you need a vehicle to get into the city? You do, but I don't. I've got Brucey here. What I do need is a new power cell. All right, I will find you a power you can't cell. Just walk in. Are you mad? Walk into the city. <laughs> There's guns guarding their main gates, and they'd make mincemeat out of you, Sonny Jim. All right. Tell me about Brucey then. I take it this is your truck. It's got my name on it, don't it? I don't know. I didn't look at it that careful. W? Well, some of it. And what exactly is it that you're hauling? Until I get the old boy back up and running, absolutely nothing. What stinks, sir? Bruce is taking a turn for the worse. I don't want to alarm you, but there's a strange odor wafting from the back of your truck. I don't smell it. Really? Because it's like. Except the splendid scent of tasty mini K's, the finest organic knack verse the Gap has to offer. Don't believe me? Look at those gang gangs. They love my knack verse. <laughs> Can't chase them away. That's not quite the selling point you think it is. Uh, tell me more about them, though. So, your truck is full of mini knockwurst? You betcha. Mini K, best in the gap. Even contains some real meat. You're welcome real to take meat. it on. Oh, oh my god. The truck's open, although the doors like to play silly beggars. Oh? Requires a special technique. Ritual, you could call it. Ritual? Aye. Now listen carefully. Step one, give the bumper a wallop. Step two, do a little jig. Step three, pull the door and jerk it hard. Wallop, jig, pull. That it? That's it, lad. And remember the order. Wallop, jig, pull. I expect the jig is not necessary. I that you're just trying to make me do a silly little dance, which I'm down with. All right, uh, tell me the truck doors again. Doors, they're locked shut. I haven't even been to look. Jammed. Oh, and I'm all out of lubricant. So how can I get in? Didn't you listen? It's a ritual. First off, give the bumper a good wallop. Then, do a little jig. A jig? Aye, a jig. Make a little dance. Then pull the door hard. Or do a little dance. Pretty technical, huh? Have to move with the times, pal. All right, uh, well, tell me about the power cell that you're missing. Your truck's power cell has drained. Aye, emptier than a politician's vows. There was a sandstorm with the bridge over yonder out of action. I was told to go park for a few hours, turned into a few days. Trying to keep the mini case cool in this heat emptied the power cell. I wasn't stingy on the aircon, mind, or the margarita blender up in the cab. A working man needs his creature comforts. Anyway, 13.7 volts drained to naught. And they still haven't fixed that blooming bridge. Yes, they have. And you've been sat here ever since? No choice until they send someone out to juice up Brucey's power cell. All right. Someone competent, I mean. Hobsworth, no good. Hobsworth? Didn't I say someone competent? <laughs> that muffin doesn't know a panhard rod from a Chapman strut. All right. Uh, tell me more about the truck How doors. Can I open the back of the truck again? One big bumper wallop. Two little jig. Three, pull hard. Wallop, jig, pull. Got it. How do I open the... B One, two, three... Wallop, jig, pull. Got it. Okay, and you're infinite. I'm looking All right. for a vehicle. 
Well, mate, today's your lucky day. A specific vehicle. This is a vehicle. No, I'm looking for a special vehicle. But Brucey is special. All he needs is his power cell and we'll be on our way. Yeah, I'll help you. The vehicle I'm looking for had four legs and no wheels. A vehicle with legs. <laughs> Think you've got bats in your belfry, mate. Nope. Any vehicles come through here recently? Specifically, the four-legged variety. Only thing's been through here recently. Is a horse a vehicle? Smells and the occasional <laughs> I guess not. I guess it's See, it's I'm an animal, but I don't think you'd also class it as a vehicle. A All right, pal. Didn't ask for your life story. Are you sure you haven't seen any vehicles come this way? Those land trains pass through up top every few minutes. Nothing down here, though. All right. Uh, tell me more about Brucey. Vehicles around here I could use. There's an out round here. I need to get into the city as soon as possible. Uh, me too, pal. But Brucey is not going anywhere. Oh well. How long have you been here? Lost count. But the delicious aroma emanating from my mini K's suggests at least two days. Aren't you worried that they uh, might be going rancid? Well, nothing that a healthy chlorine wash won't fix. I don't want to know. When the power cell is working, what are you hauling then? Mini K's. Artisanal, organic, handcrafted protein cylinders. At least that's what it says on the packet. Sounds Never believe the packaging. Doesn't it? Between you and me, they're just knackworth sausages. But these city folk love a tagline. Cool. All right. Uh, tell me about Any the city. Ideas on how I can get into the city? Aye, that's easy. You just need one small thing. Oh, big thing. Great. What? A truck. <laughs> what? Like yours? No, not like mine. You want one that actually moves under its own power. That being said, you won't even get across the bridge without an authorized ID. Citizen's ID gets you all the way into the city, privileges and all. I've got ID, all right, but my power cell's empty. Long story short, I could drive in, if I could drive in. All right, tell me more about these mini cases you mentioned. As I say, grab an handful. Trucks open. All right. Mind if I take a look at the power cell? I'm pretty handy with this sort of stuff. Yeah, you were. Hobsworth has it told me he'd have it charged in a jiffy. Great. How long ago was that? Two days. About a million jiffies ago. <laughs> Even My better. My guess is, it's either gathering dust, or it's being ground to dust. Tell me more about the power cell so again. All you need to get into the city is a charged power cell? Plant snakes alive, yes. A power cell. Do you want me to write it down? No, look, no, I'm just no, I got it. making sure. All right. I'll be back. I'll be here. Well up, Jig. Pull. Hey there, murderer of gang. I want to use my mini. No, it didn't need to be lit. It said that. Yeah, now. Where's the bumper? There's no bumper on this. Examine the door. The, the mini K was highly pungent. All right, now open it. The doors were locked shut. Perhaps for the best. All right, but now we'll perform our ritual. All right, hit bumper. Right, hit the bumper. Do a jig. These were not my best moves. Oh yeah. <laughs> Great. Pull door. Oh, yeah, it works. I'll come back if I need to. Can I do it again? Oh. All right, you over here. I'm going to try the can with you. 
No, actually, let's go back over here. Okay, electric fence. Oh, I can't do anything. Oh. Alright. Can I do anything with you? Stop running away. Let me just get a... Uh... Big save. Lure. Come on, big fella. Oh. Now take the tool. The bird's beak looked especially vicious. All right. Oh, but I can lure you. Are you coming? Big Steve? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, and I'm sure that electricity did nothing for the data tool. I hoped Ember's deed was still functional. Yep. Alright. Ah! Hobbs! Oh, wait. Sculpture! A metaphysical symmetry of curvature. Man and machine. If that was art, I must have been missing something. The idea that art can be anything and it's not conformed to a single form? Hello, man. Hey, Hobbsworth. Hey, what can I do for you? I want to talk to you about Wendell's How power cell. Going with Wendell's power cell. It's in my office. But how long until it's charged? Uh, it's hard to say, but it's on my list. Give me it. Dates on Wendell's power cell? Not yet, but I'll get onto it soon. <sighs> See you around, Hobbsworth. Keep a smile on your face. You are a horrible person doing this thing stuff. Right. Oh, workbench. I forgot what the workbench was. Okay, I can't use anything on the workbench. Hey, there you are. Ember. Ember, sorry. Oh, have I still got them? Nice. Would you like data That's transfer? I found. A lot of nerve coming back here. <laughs> this it's what? my finger my teeth. I'll have that sure but how about I give you the deed in exchange for the citizen ID that's on it the deed for the ID but you wouldn't have it back if it weren't for me I wouldn't have lost it, it if it weren't for you stolen if it weren't for you yeah so we're even mm, I suppose that's sort of fair also you can Excellent. have one of these mini K's when do we start have you got a u-chip yep Yes, my hand is still stinging. All right then, let's get this over with, yeah. Pass me back my deed. Hmm. Follow me over to my workbench. Oh, is that where it's going to happen? Ember's deed had a citizen ID stored on it. Yeah, we know. Hey. Okay. Oh, ooh. A makeshift workbench had been set up. Its I... structural integrity seemed over reliant on some old deflated tires. Yeah. Do I need to talk to Ember? Hey, Ember. You ready to do this? Let's do it. I'm not entirely sure what this is. <sighs> you want that citizen's ID, right? Yep. Yeah. What do I need to do? Cool. Just place your hand flat on the U-chip scanner. Over here on my workbench. Okay, I've got the interact option this time. Uh, like this? Yeah, good enough. Let me just line up the laser. Oi, keep your hand still or you'll lose it. Uh, is this gonna hurt? No more than getting the chip installed in the first place. All right. Right, just transferring the ID now. You may feel a slight pinch. What was that? That 
wasn't supposed to happen? There it is again. Must be. Nothing. It must be nothing. Looks like his name was Graham. A fun, upstanding citizen. <clears throat> Graham. Got it. Good luck, citizen Graham. At last I had a citizen ID. I hope that this was going to be my key to getting into the city. Alright, well let's... Well, I want to talk to you. Don't fly all the way up there. Excuse me. Greetings, citizen Graham. Oh. I was going to have to get used to being called Graham. Good. Your body mass index is looking lower than when last recorded. Congratulations. And I feel great, like a totally different person. Negative. You are still citizen Graham. How can I be of assistance? Bye for now. You can't. Have I just wanted to. Awesome day. Oh. Can I get a second sparkles? Because I have a new ID now. Enjoy this little piece of happiness, courtesy of Minos. Spankles, not sparkles. Enjoy this little piece of Oh, I can get infinite cans now. Because I'm a citizen. Awesome. Yeah, three. Mmm. Alright. Let's use the terminal and see what we get. Oh, I have more stuff. Now, alright, what's my QDOS history? C plus. B minus B, B, B. Okay, fine. Interesting. Civic Guide is the same thing, okay. One step forward, two steps back. All right. I had a citizen ID, but my outdated U-chip firmware wasn't going to play nice with more modern devices. All right. No photo archives, all right. Can't do anything with a hollow plinth, and can't do anything with that. All right. I hope I haven't lost my kudos because I... Because I did it in a different order. That would be horrible to know. Alright, let's talk to you. Hey, Wendell. I need to get those doors open, alright? I did, Just thanks. About. Did you uh, do the jig? Sure did. You said it was essential. That's right. Although, here's a funny thing. My wife never does the jig back at the farm. But it always seems to open for her. Anyway, what can I do for you? Want one of these mini Ks? Oh, um, better not. I thought you loved them. Oh, uh, of course I do. They're delicious. But don't get high on your own supply. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, okay. No scoffage on well thine own sausage. Wow. Oh, I see. That see is yourself. not something that I would have said. You be? I'm fine with that. Right, we want to go all the way around up here and see if the citizen ID gets us into the office. Graham's ID was finally starting to get me places. The console seemed specialized. Well, then use it. Can I look at that or do anything? No, okay. Is that just open and shut the doors? Right, okay, fine. <gasps> sandwich! It was a sandwich. Take it! Somebody is getting that sandwich. I'm guessing. It looked like some sort of scanning device. That so that is just for kudos. Yeah, we are examining the, the power cell. cell was completely wrecked. Yeah, can I do anything about that? What if? No, I can't do that. Can I? Oh, official scanning tool, sandwich, finger. Can I combine these? 
No, can't do anything like that. All right. Well, now I know that it's completely wrecked. Can I confront Hobbs? But before I confront Hobbs, it's time to deliver a sandwich because I'm a sandwich delivery company. Hey, Voxel. Pixel, Voxel, and Ember. Again. Can we talk some more? Hi. Uh, thanks for the firecracker. Can I grab another one of those firecrackers? Sorry, mister. That was the last one. All right. Have a sandwich. For Mr. Voxel. Oh, yes. One of Hobsworth's city singers. Do you want my crusts? You eat them. Warriors need their strength. Oh. And I just got an achievement called Hunger Games, which is... To feed Voxel a stolen sandwich. Well, there we go. Thanks, Voxel. Hey, Hobsworth, I got a bone to pick with you. You have destroyed things. Hey, Hobsworth. Hey, what can I do for you? You can tell me about Wendell's power cell. Wendell's power cell wasn't looking too functional. Oh, man, you saw, huh? I don't think it's supposed to smoke like that. Not uh. conventionally, no. Listen, don't tell Wendell. I'll fix it. How? Any updates on Wendell's power cell? Not yet, but I'll get onto it soon. See you around, Hobsworth. I think I'm going to have to go and tell Wendell. Because I don't know what else. Oh. Hey, Pixel. Can we talk? Hey, Pixel. How can I help? Uh, you got anything you know about the to get into the city? Oh, if I knew that, would I be living in this car park? Possibly. Uh, I don't think the city has roundabouts. Anything? Or your brothers and sisters. Ember had used the workbench to transfer Graham's ID to my U-chip. You still don't work, do you? No, nope, fine. Nothing happened. Probably because the machine had had its innards ripped out. Where's Amber? I thought you were there. Oh, you somehow you walked past me while I wasn't looking. All right. Oh, excuse me. Uh, hey. hey. Me again. Can you fix Hi things? Again. All right, let's talk about Voxel. I spoke to Voxel about his monster problem. You what? I think his monster is the vehicle I've been tracking. Oh, good for you. So you told him the monster was real? I was going to say, that was, was a horrible thing. Yep. Soon. Nice one, Super Dead. Yeah, congratulations on getting the information. Unfortunately, you have confirmed that it is a monster that eats children. Voxel's a skittish one, isn't he? Watch your mouth. How'd you know where to find him anyway? Pixel told me. Mate, I don't know you, you don't know me, you don't know them. Let's keep it that way. Stop asking questions, finish your business, and move along. Meanwhile, where's Pixel? Me and him need to have some words about stranger danger. Do you know how I can get into the I'm city? I'm not a stranger. You try the bridge. I'm a protagonist. No. Seems a good place to start. Alright. Peace. I would like to hear you talking to Voxel, if you can. Uh, to Pixel. Oh, it's the sandpit again. No. Doesn't look like I'm going to be digging anything out of the sandpit. Oh, that's you. Alright, hey, Wendell. I'm going to tell you all about your broken power cell. How's it going, Wendell? Can't complain. Not like anybody would listen if I did. I'd listen. That's the spirit. <laughs> What's on your mind? Power cell. So all you need to get it. Plant snakes alive. No. no. All right. I have a sinking feeling that the wrecked power cell in Hobsworth's hut was the one that Wendell hoped would power his truck. Yeah, we know that. So these mini Ks. What are the other ingredients? Hey, you said they contain some real meat. What's the rest made up of? Flavor. <laughs> yes, but. All right. Okay. Nice seeing you. Bye. Hmm. 
Ah, can I use the diagnostician tool on here and it will order me a new thing? No? My crowbar see? could do plenty of things, but powering a truck was not one of them. Hmm. Oh, I have not looked at this. Union City, where the citizens will always be happy. Nobody's been in or out of Union City for ten years. All right. Fan. The power cell was completely wrecked. Yeah. That book looks like it. no, I can't do anything with the book. The console seems specialized. Right. Harry sales terminal casing. Status broken. Alright. Turn the van on and off. The power Examine it. Was completely wrecked. Ah. I want to use them. I want to scan it with the minus scanner. The U chip I've been given here now contain this Graham guy's ID. You've got to have power. Can I rip out? No, apparently not. Error. You chip firmware outdated. Authority for vehicular access denied. All right. The firmware on my U chip was out of date. I realized that I'd been sold a dud by Ember. All right. Well then, let's talk to Ember in a second. Hey, Hobsworth. Hey. What can I do for you? I want to know more about the passive. Not yet, but I'll get on to it soon. How about the stalker? So, you haven't seen any vehicles? Well, nothing like you've described. Sorry. About this missing kid. Well, Shut up! Now, please stop asking. Yeah. It makes me kind of uncomfortable, you know what I mean? Vaguely. How can I get into the city? Like I said. Only registered citizens of transport can get into the city. I knew I couldn't wait that long. There had to be a different way in. See you around, Hobsworth. Keep a smile on your face. Do I need to hide in the truck? Well, let's talk to Amber and see if she knows if or why this is a dud. Hi again. There's a problem with this ID you gave me. Yeah. I tried the bridge, but it wouldn't let me through. Apparently, my U chip is out of date. Oh, right. They had to replace the hand scanner recently. Must be running on new firmware. Much newer than the crappy U chips from that old terminal. What happened to the old hand scanner? No idea. Why would you even ask that? I didn't take it. Shut up. <laughs> Either way, the ID you gave me doesn't work. Hey, listen, guy. The ID is tip top. It's your U chip that's the problem. It's old, like you. Well, have you got any newer replacements? Nah, -uh. that U chip is in you now. It stays there. You'll need to run an update, but my guess is you can only do that inside the city. And without the update, oh. I can't get across the bridge. I appear to be at an impasse. Yikes. Well, that ain't good. Could maybe hack the bridge, but nah. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Why? Did you say hack? Okay. So you know how everything here runs on Minos. Minos? Surely that's not based off the old Link system. That's right. When they upgraded, they dumped the old Link tech. Smart shoes, smart toasters, smart light bulbs, smart fridges. Minos makes everything smart, smart, smart. Except the humans. <laughs> 
Yep. Anyway, I can believe that. Hobsworth is always pointing his scanner at stuff. Yeah. That's his Minos scanner. Minos scanners let guys without any smarts figure out how machines work. Old Hobsworth has all kinds of safeguards so he can't mess things up more when they break. But with a few modifications. Can you do more than just diagnose Minos machines? Much more. Cool. Could I borrow your hacker? Is that a no? <laughs> Could I maybe trade you something for your hacker? <laughs> Honestly, probably not. Okay, so if you won't trade me for that hacker, could you make me one? For a price, and a whole lot of inconvenience. What do you mean? For starters, you need one of Hobsworth's Minor Scanners. Got it. You get me one of them. And then we can talk about next steps. What's that you say? The you thing that is thing? right in my hand? Yeah. Already? Where'd you get it? Hobsworth. It's just lying around in Hobsworth's hut. He really should be more careful. All right then. Let's see what else you've got in that bag that might be worth my time, trouble, and effort. All right. Uh, well, I mean, the Android finger is probably it. But do you want mini Ks? How about a delicious mini K made with mostly real? I heard that before. Not interested. Spankles? How about a tasty Spankles? Already had like four today, mate. Spankles is about as valuable as sand around here. Sand can Probably be made into glass. Delicious. Hey, anything that makes your tongue glow in the dark can't be bad for you. It's science. Oh. Scanner. scanner. That just turns into the hacker. What are you giving me to do the actual job, pal? Oh, right, okay. Oh. Right. The android finger. I don't know if you can use this. But how about this finger? I'm gonna give you okay, the finger. Creepy. Let me take a look. Whoa. Okay, this is some serious kit. The micro actuators alone are worth a bundle. So it's a deal then. You'll hack this scanner, and the finger is yours. You betcha. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, it's an Android finger anyway. You're ready. Right. Right now. Right next to you. Right here. I'm here. One ember grade Minos hacker. Thanks. So how do I use this thing? You activate scan mode, obviously. Yeah, how do I do that? Right click to equip hacker. Oh. Okay, got it. Yeah, well, that's the easy part. Now follow me. I'm following you. Oh, apparently this I am. I cannot go anywhere test. else. They're all over the place. So we can have a weird scannery mini game. I'm not touching any controls right now, and it's still making me walk. Right, there vending machine. One just popped into range. Okay, what do I do now? Use the big button at the top. Duh. Left click mouse button to open the code editor. Okay. Right. So this here is a diagnostic view of Minos. Looks like it runs the vending machine. No kidding. See those task nodes? The darker ones? Yeah. Well, unlike Hobbsy's little vanilla scanner, my hacker can swap them round. Nice. So let's see how smart you are. Want to give me an infinite supply of spankles? I mean, it's simple. If you can't use the hand scanner, then every time you vandalize it, you should dispense a drink rather than doing an alarm. Yeah? Right, I want to put that here. Dark blocks means what we're Drag and drop these blocks to change how a system works. Yeah, I would love to. What do I do now? You did it! Oh. Um, you're smarter than you look. Alright. Okay, apply the hack and you'll be good to go. Okay, how do I apply the hack? And I'm not smarter, because obviously... Right click, no? As the usual, let's make us play reviews of this one string. Okay. How? How? Thanks, bro. You trying to get me arrested? Oh, right, I see. Nope. If you are allowed, alarm. If the vandalism is going on. Okay, how do I apply it? Apply, undo, reset area, help. Alright, okay, fine. Pass yes no. Task logic is what you do there. 
That's like most things dead rot. So policy modify. So if no, okay, data blocks are if statements. So if they are blue, do this. Policy data blocks modify conduct or performance. Or probably and media data blocks hold global content. Nice. Global data blocks define a target. All right. Release. Welcome to your new improved document. I'm giving you a better edit. Use this next transfer. C minus blocks can be moved. Same shape. Enjoy. Ember. Interesting that she spells it that, but everywhere else has been spelling it properly. Or as we would spot. There you go. Alright, mate. Figure the rest out yourself. Oh, and try not to do anything too stupid, eh? Alright. Right now, I want to try using the machine. Nice. Alright. Citizen Graham, you are present at the scene of an active alarm. Please remain calm and await neutralization of any threat. Uh... Do you have any information on the cause of the alarm? I think he said his name was... Hobsworth. I shall investigate. Please do not approach the subject. He may be armed. Yeah, I had two, I think. Union City will take it from here. Thank you, citizen. Wow, I think I've messed that up. Did Hobsworth just disappear? Hey, safety bridge. It's authorized user. There we go. I am not an authorized user, so now I can go across. Don't let me go across just yet, thank you. I want to see what else I can find around here. Are you a thing I can connect to? No. No, are you a thing I can connect to? No. No, nothing here? Okay. Well, maybe there are multiple solutions to this thing. I don't know. On the other hand... Is that Ember? Or is that Hobsworth? That's Ember. I think Hobsworth is dead now. I think I've accidentally killed him. Hey, you. How can I help? You can come back down here so that I can talk to you. Excuse me. How can I help, Citizen Graham? Uh, Thanks no. for your time. No, Hobsworth. Have a really awesome day. Oh, no, there's Hobsworth. He's not dead. Hey, Hobsworth. Come back here. Ah, I want to talk to you about things. Hey, Hobsworth. Hey, what can I do for you? What was that tool you were pointing at the bridge? Oh, this little baby. That's my Minos scanner. It's super neat. All of us diagnosticians use them. Cool. I pointed out a device, and it shows me how it works. See, everything in Union City runs on Minos. Everything's interconnected, from big safety systems and freight elevators, all the way down to toasters and hand dryers, all on Minos. Okay, so you're saying it's a citywide universal operating system? Whoa, I don't know what that is, but maybe. I'd hate to think what would happen if a scanner like this fell into the wrong hands. Yep. See you around. Me too. Office. I don't know if you saw that. I'm assuming you can. You see the USB port in the back of his neck. That is from the first game. Where he was trying to be connected with the link system that ran everything. 
Oh. Because I left it open. By the sound of things, Hobsworth was hard at work. I decided not to interrupt him. Alright, well I've got nothing else to do except, I mean, if I try to go over here I'm gonna get shot, right? That is what's... that is the thing, right? The bridge seemed to be operated yeah. by some sort of hand scanner. Yeah, I didn't want to do that, I wanted to use. Right now, I can go across. I'm gonna get shot down. It said anybody trying to Oh a recycling outlet. Oh, okay, alright, so you can change that. How do you change it? Oh okay. That's the only thing that you can change. But I don't know. Okay. Can't move, eh? If this guy got on the plane, to stop it. If the bug is clean, then set the belt speed to gentle and then keep going. Okay, so I can't actually do anything here. Yeah? Alright. Cooling system, alright. Oh, can I change the two? Alright, okay. Right, because they're close to one another. Alright, interesting. So if something gets put on there, can I use the pressure pad? No. The pressure plate appeared to trigger the crane mechanism. Oh. Interesting. Oh, right. You are meant to pick up the next thing, but you don't. Unacceptable cargo detected. Or why are you that has been alerted to solve the problem? Well, I am the unacceptable cargo. Let me tell you risking the future of all the little kids. The droid appeared to have gotten itself stuck. Ah, okay, well. I doubted he'd be happy with me. I decided not to engage him in conversation. Oh, but I wanted to. Do you not see how that conflicts? I don't walk any slower by doing this, but... I guess the Y4 was... Oh, maybe I should look to see if you've got... Gun control. Oh, are you locked? Can I not... Connect? I'm trying to... Is that... Do I not have the right security clearance? Or did I just come at it wrong? Nope, I don't have the right security clearance for you. And now I have to run all the way around and back again. It would have been nice to know that there was like different levels of security. Can I take you apart to get there we go battery, that is what I was thinking. I had a charged power cell. Nice. Warning. This entrance is strictly vehicle only. All Those guns look like they meant business. Warning. Extreme measures will be taken against non-compliant pedestrians. What the hell are you? Just floating there in the middle of the air. Alright. So it looks Alert. like... Pedestrians now have only 10 seconds to comply. I'm not Need anywhere near it. Authorized. Uh, and you're locked too with a level one security lock. Alright, time to head back. 
Oh, wait. I need to okay. change. Pedestrians now have only 10 seconds to comply. Lethal force authorized. I'm not anywhere near it. Oh, if I use this, it's not going to work, is it? Because I have... Oh, no. Okay, so it changes on both sides. Alright, cool. Oh, okay. Ooh. So I can move all the way around. Interesting. No, okay. You must have just been locked, locked. Hey, Hobbs, how is the scanner doing? Hey, Hobbsworth. Hey, what can I do for you? Are you called Hobbsworth because you are because then it sounds close to Jobsworth and you are it's more than my job's worth to do this little yeah, tiny I'm thing for you keep a smile on your face alright hey I got a power cell for you I'm competent hey Wendell hello stranger how goes the bottle? I got a power cell. So all Let me ride in with yours. Power cell? Like a cheese sandwich needs chutney. Cheese sandwiches yeah, don't need chutney. Do the trick. Is that a new power cell? Juice up. You beautiful man. How did you do it? Well, it all started with a dead man in the desert. Not gonna stop you there, Chuck. No, it didn't. Any story that starts with a dead man is best kept to yourself. It started hey, somewhere else. Any of a lift into the city? Typical. No one ever does anything from the goodness of their art these days. I just figured that. Oh, no. right. Up in the back. You earned it. Oh, no. Are you sure it's safe back here? 100%, lad. I'll take your word for it. Just watch out for me neck bursts. I've lost enough business already. I am an especially large piece of neck worth. No need to scan me. Union City. Objective, get into Union City. I mean, I'm in Union City, so objective complete. Game over! As far as I can take you, I'm afraid. You can catch a monopod into the city from over there. And where are you going? Straight to cargo. Gotta get these babies. Quarantined? <laughs> Distributed. Thanks for uh. the ride, Wendell. Maybe see you again. And I have the achievement Infiltrator, which says enter the main gate. Except I didn't enter the main gate, I entered the via the vehicle gate. Right, I've got to remember that I've got like a second level to look at every so often now. Oh, hey! Hold on a second, vending machine. Apologies, but it seems your U chip is running out of date firmware. Yeah, it is. What of it? Dispense a red drink. Let's do a regular alarm. Let's try that. Enjoy this 
One can of spankles. No, it's no different. All right, okay. I guess that's just there to remind me how to do things. Well, this has got to be a monopod. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Outdated U-chip firmware detected. Firmware must be updated to use Union City facilities. Oh, why do I do that? I was about to return to give Ember a piece of my mind when... Transporting you to the nearest safety services. Yay! Investigate how Graham is connected with the stalkers. How do we know he is investigate? He is connected with the stalkers. The fact that he was out in the desert at the same time as a stalker does not necessarily mean he is connected to them. Oh, and look, now we are into. Ah, child system. And Dave Gibbons, off we go. Sleep tight, citizen. The stalkers had come into the city, but looking around, that didn't make any sense. This place was a paradise compared to the Union City I'd left all those years ago. Oh, Joey lost his hand, Joey didn't he? certainly turned the place around. I had to find the stalkers, and whoever he was, Graham was my only lead. I just had to sort out my U-chip problems first. Yep. Alright, well, we'll look at safety services in a minute, but where is... Oh no, there's no Joey. Where's the Joey statue? There it is. The giant statue with only one arm, that's Joey. Joey was a little robot, but then he got transferred into a... Synthoid? Bioroid? I'm not sure. And then he got his hand stuck on something. So they had to chop his arm off. So yeah. That's great. Hey, vending machine. Apologies, but it seems your U chip is running out of date firmware. Yeah, it is. Alright, just play a regular one. So that is blue. And if I look at it again, that was a red one, right? Yeah, it's just a red can. That's great. Okay. Well, that's an interesting thing to know and how and how to use them. All right, safety services. A Greta terminal, or Greta, sorry. 
Oh. Hello. Good morning, Graham Grundy. I trust you are well on this fine day. Not bad, actually. Aha! Uh -huh. Have you tried Dijon buttercream spankles? It's new. Oh. Sounds delightful. Yeah, it does sound interesting. That's the spirit. Now, Mr. Grundy, we both know why you're here, don't we? Out of date firmware. Uh, I guess we do. Your firmware. It's ridiculously out of date. Let's get you sorted then, shall we? Go on, place your hand on the platform. Why? Why should I? Oh, Graham, what a ridiculous question. How do you expect to access your messages? Or vote on important city issues? Or use the travel system? Please consent to the firmware update. Yep, I'm okay. good with that. Here goes. Well, that's very strange. Morning. What's very strange? What's very strange? You said that's very strange a moment ago. Something about my data. I didn't. You said what's very strange. So you have a virus. Said, that's very strange. Great. What else can I do for you, Citizen Graham? There was something strange about the ID that I had acquired. While she may have lost the plot, I definitely hadn't. All right. Uh, is my well, firmware updated? Firmware all up to date. It sure is, Citizen Graham. Now you can get back to being a top-notch citizen again. I see you have two weeks of public voting to catch up on. Better find a terminal and hop to it. Will do. All right. Uh, missing, missing children. I don't know if you'll be able to help on this. I'm here to help. Okay. I'm looking for a child that went missing two days ago. And from which part of the city did this child go missing? He was from outside the city. I can only help you locate citizens. All right. Tell me that strange thing. You mind scanning my U chip like you did before. But Graham, your firmware is up to date. Humor me. Okay. Well, that's very strange. There, you just did it again. Because you asked me to humor you. I mean, you said that's very strange again. I assure you that I have a precise log of this entire conversation, and I said no such thing. Oh. It appeared that every time she tried to access my data, the last few seconds of her memory was wiped. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, that's awesome. What was the firmware update for? Well, Mr. Grundy, your U-chip appears to be quite an outdated model. Uh. It still had the original firmware from the early iterations of the Council's U-chip program. Frankly, I'm surprised you got by for so long. I've lived a simple life. You poor thing. <laughs> Alright, uh, tell me about strange Can things again. accessing my data one more time. But, Citizen Graham, I haven't accessed your data. Please access my data. Well, that's very strange. What? What? That's what I thought. Whatever was blocking my U-chip was disrupting her memory playback. Another item to add to the Graham Grundy mystery list. Hmm. All right. Tell me about missing children again. Child named Milo. Accessing citizen database. He is not a citizen. Is he an animal? <laughs> no, I told you he's a child. I mean, yes, all children are little animals. Very common name for pets. That fact does not help me. I can only help you locate citizens. All right, let's talk about stalkers then. For a vehicle. Well, a monopod station can be found at either end of the piazza. Are there any vehicles in the city that have legs? Polite request for disambiguation. By legs, do you mean a vehicle transporting prosthetics, flat-packed furniture, or fried chicken? I mean a vehicle with legs for propulsion. Do you mean a skateboard or scooter? You are no help. I'm here to help. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Was I helpful? Yes. Would you like to fill out a survey? Um, sure. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Excellent. Question one of 100. Are you satisfied? Whoops. Gotta go. Not for 100 now questions. That I've dealt with my YouTube problem, 
I needed to find out more about my new identity, Graham Grundy. No, that's just a credit terminal. Oh, I sp oh let me. Ah, oh, come here. Oh, you'll run away. All right. Can I? No. All right. That is where I came from, right? Yeah, and that's the only machine over there was now here. Now that I'd resolved my outdated U-chip problem, it was time to look deeper into my alter ego, Graham. Yeah, I know, but I just thought I'd like come over here and see if I could talk to people. No. All right. Well, let's go for a. Let's go for a deeper look into the city. Oh. I can dispose of cans of spankles there, can I? Oh. Hey, speak a robot. The robot was spitting out the occasional motivational message. Ah, is that what you're for? All right, okay. Well, I don't care about motivational speeches right now. Oh, hello. The droid looked like two CU after a power wash. Come here. Hey, two CU? I'm not two CU. Oh, sorry. You look just like the one outside. Oh, so we all look alike, do we? Now hold on, I didn't mean that. You have to admit, though, you do look a lot like 2CU. My name is 1CU. One. Well, totally different. Oh, so is 2CU like a, an upgrade? Like a, a better version of you? You're speaking to the first, an original, a numero uno community welfare droid. Cool. All right. Uh, tell me about Joey. Joey. Before my time, I'm afraid, sir. You must know something. He brought the city out of darkness and into light. Then the council took over. Precisely. <laughs> That's not quite what you think it is. So Joey just disappeared? As I say, I know little about the great Joey. For more information, check out the museum. Oh, I will. Tell me about the council. The council guides the ministries, and through them, Union City. Everybody knows this. Sure. They do a good job, huh? Oh, yes. They look after us by day, and watch over us by night. Sounds like they're popular. Everybody loves the council. Everybody? Oh, yes. And they love us back. Each and every one. Even me? Even you, sir. Oh, that's good to know. All right, uh, tell me more about the council. How do I contact the council? You don't need to, sir. Your minus profile tells them what you want and need before you know it yourself. What if I want to talk to them in person? In person? You kidding? They're way too busy. Let me guess. Busy looking after us? Now you're getting it. All right. Uh, I'm looking for a stalker. I'm looking for a vehicle. The monopod station is situated at the entrance to the piazza. No, I I'm looking for a vehicle that came into the city. Well, it can't have come through here. The piazza is a strictly pedestrian zone. Hmm. The vehicle Makes sense. I'm looking for has legs. Four, in fact. A vehicle with legs is called an animal. You definitely haven't seen it? Definitely. All right. Uh, tell me about Do missing you know children. about missing kids in Union City? There are no missing kids in Union City, sir. Really? Every single child in Union City is U-chipped and can be found at any moment. Period. What about an unchipped child from the gap? They wouldn't have been able to get in here. Don't worry, sir. You won't see that sort in here. Okay. Uh, please continue. Been any reported kidnappings in Union City? I am unfamiliar with the word kidnapping. It means to steal a child. No, it doesn't. Anyone do that? It means to take a person against their will. It could be a child, but it could also be an adult. Tell me about Union City. Would you like to know about the piazza? That's not exactly... The piazza was designed by the council to encourage citizens to socialize. What's the point of that? It's a fact that people like being around other people. People who are alone spend too much time thinking. And I'm sure we can all agree, nothing good ever came as a result of thinking. I wouldn't know. Anyway, Union City happiness is at an all-time high. 
Thanks, Piazza. Thanks. Anything interesting going on in Union City? Why, Special events? Aspiration Day, of course. An annual celebration in which all citizens are encouraged to aspire. Aspire to what? Aspire to be lower. Wait. Lower is better? Of course. As the old saying goes, eyes on the ground make Joey proud. And that's all for now. <laughs> Enjoy your day, Citizen Graham. Yeah, I will. Thank you. I don't quite know how eyes on the ground make Joey proud came about. Alright, okay. Don't care. Can I exit? Just wanted to see. And now I'm going to try using it, now that I have updated firmware. Enjoy this little piece of happiness, courtesy of Minos. Cool. Oh, there's a bot over here. Oh, and another Spankles machine. Uh, this must be the way I could have come. Yeah. Yeah, because that takes me back to the safety. Hey, who are you? Stall droid. Okay. Please dispense all waste in the bins provided. I would do. An aspiration boost stall. Request entered. Display data of the city hardware. Dispense aspiration boost. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I can't do anything with that right now. Is there another thing close by? Milo's trail ah. is running cold. I needed to check out Graham's home. Yep. That the Minos. Aspiration roach. All right, let's let's just do this and get an aspiration roach for us. Hey, all. Got a minute for you, sir? I have all day. Uh, council. What can you tell me about the council? Nothing that you won't have heard already. However, if you take a look behind my stall, you can catch a great view of the citadel. Thank you. The citadel, where the council are based. It can be seen through the skyline right behind me. Cool. Uh, missing children. You anything about missing children? Oh my. That's above my pay grade. Are they social climbers? No. They were taken into the city from the gap. Well, I certainly wouldn't have had anything to do with that. What do you do here? My name is Hollow. And it is my pleasure to serve the wonderful people of Union City on this glorious Aspiration Day. And what are you serving? Well, social climbers can bring their aspiration brooches to me. And then what? I use this machine here to customize the hologram projected on the brooch. Ooh. Isn't that fun? Yeah, that's it's interesting. Parade. Uh, tell me more about this aspiration. aspiration brooch. A special wearable reward to Union City's esteemed social climbers. Courtesy of the council. Yes, but what do they do? The brooch permits entry to areas around the city, exclusive to social climbers. Such hmm. as the old history exhibit in the Museum of New History. Oh, that is something I would like. Fellow citizens, how great at gathering kudos you are. I'm great. How can I get my hands on one of these brooches? You didn't receive one in the post? I don't think so. That's because aspiration brooches are only delivered to social climbers. You need an awful lot more kudos to be in with a shop. Maybe next month, eh? Sure. Or year, perhaps. Hmm. All right. Well, I'll find can out about that. People's aspiration brooch? Only if they ask me to. Sure. How do you change it? First, my customer places their aspiration brooch here in the machine slot. Then, through me, they can choose which hologram they'd like the brooch to display. And you put it on the brooch? Now you're getting it. Sounds simple enough. Yeah, thanks a lot. See you later. I think that's I just wait. a customization thing rather than an actual part of the gag. Oh, but oh, maybe. Oh, Who knows? Connecting to minus. Oh, and I've got my uh, firmware updated, so I should be able to access messages and stuff. Um, still C minus. Well, I haven't got anything. Civic guide. That's you. All right. Messages. I access Graham's messages. I added that to my list of things to look into. Yeah, that is weird. Oh, I've got no photos. 
Hollow flint. Oh! Bonsai tree. That's by many different names. And the day I die. Another bonsai tree. We have some amazing, interesting tastes which make them an excellent choice to add to the value of each bonsai collector. Fuki and tree. T bonsai. You can grow strikingly graceful bonsai. Like anyone who's played it. Cubic designs. I don't know what I. An advice man. No. Um, let's go with cubic designs for right now. I assume that somewhere in my hollow plinth at my home it will show that or something. Do you? No, you don't look like it as I approach. Thank you. All right. Well, let us look at city live. Ministry of Aspiration Flight Message. We have noted that your kudos has dropped again this month. The Ministry of Aspiration is here to help you aspire to be a brighter and better you. You have a smile on your face. Dear Mr. Grandy, we hope you're happy with your lens replacement on your hollow plinth. Thank you for your custom. Please return the 41 when it is convenient to do so. Keep a smile on your face. 14 days ago. You missed there on choosing a new spangle flavor for Union City. Better luck next time. And very good. Land Train Vehicles Group. Ministry of Comfort Polite. Yes, it, yeah, it's come to the Ministry's attention that an industrial cleaning robot was locked into an empty land train and transported to SEO City. SEO City analysis is underway to determine the person responsible for this error. Keep a smile on your face. Ministry of Polite Messages. Ministry of Comfort Polite Message. Your record indicates an absence of four consecutive days. Please contact your manager to determine how best we can help you remedy this situation. Keep a smile on your face. Hmm. So you have been gone for four days, so 15 days at least. Ministry of Wellbeing. Dear Mr. Grundy, as your heart regulator implant are no longer fitted, please return them to us for analysis. Here to monitor your health. My yourself. Thank you. Keep a smile on your health. Keep a smile on your face. Photo competition! Dear Graham. Well, hey Graham, don't forget winners of the University Photograph Competition will be announced tomorrow morning. Oh, yeah, and to see if you won a prize, keep a smile on your face and say, geez! Mrs. Blythe's Sewing Emporium. Black is the new black with new goth silk, darker than the emptiness itself, and super soft on those intimate areas for the sensitive goth in everyone. Visit Blythe's Sewing Emporium at Turned and Vale Towers. That'd be interesting to see, but I don't think it's going to be part of it. Hey, Graham. This is a polite reminder from Minus Health. Your health check is now overdue. Step onto your health scanner so that we can upload your latest details. Minus Health, here to monitor you and your health. Keep a smile on your face. Is that right? Six. It is still six. Ministry of Comfort. Tired of trials of spilt oil? Handles missing from your mugs? Windows not sparkling to the standard you deserve? Well, worry no more. This week, you can treat yourself to a new, fully articulate domestic servant droid. droid. Packed with features only available to citizens at the highest kudos levels. Full carpet cleaning facilities, a giga vacuum bag, and five separate personality modes to appeal to every member of the household. Pick yours up today. Keep a smile on your face. Offer only available on the return and decommissioning of your old servant droid. Mr. Sankles, five days of calling all citizens. Spangles announcement! New flavours incoming, you'll love them. Mangerine. City voted. Mangerine? So a cross between mango and tangerine? Black Forest Cheesecake. Bourbon Bubbler. Lobster Thermidor. These new flavours will ignite the taste buds and liberate your mind. Keep a smile on your face. Ministry of Aspiration, five days ago. Ministry of Polite Message. Or Ministry of Aspiration Polite Message. We greatly regret to inform you that the failure to vote was relaxed in the direction of two kudos points. Keep a smile on your face. For the attention of Grand Grandin, this is a polite warning. Attention required. We deeply regret to inform you that the kudos level has dropped by one level. Keep a smile on your face. Ministry of Comfort Polite Message. Your records indicate an absence of 12 consecutive days. Please contact your manager to determine how we can best help you to remedy this situation. 
koala couples. The Cuddly Kitties are proud to introduce Luke Llama, the newest member of Cuddly Kitties, trackable family. You gotta love the llama. And today, welcome citizens, another beautiful Union City morning. The Council and the Ministry of Aspiration wish all citizens a very happy Aspiration Day. Preparations are underway for the celebrations on the Aspiration platform. Everyone with the appropriate kudos level is warmly invited to join the festivities. We look forward to seeing you there. Keep a smile on your face. Ministry of Plenty today. Hey there, citizen. Ever tried mini -Ks? You'll love them. Guess what? We just got a fresh delivery. Ask your dear Royd to fetch you a pack today. Keep a smile on your face. Ministry of Welding. For attention, Mr. Graham Grundy. Due to your unexpected absence in the system, an appointment has been arranged for you and Mrs. Grundy to discuss your well-being with Mentor Alonso. The interview will take place at 10.30am today at your apartment. We hope you enjoy the meeting. Keep a smile on your face. Hmm. Union City News. I mean, it's... I've got a wife and an appointment with someone, so that's going to be difficult to do. Good morning, citizens. The history of new history, the Museum of New History, is celebrating Aspiration Day in style. In the old history exhibit, a gallery of items from before the Golden Age is open one day only to all you social climbers. If you have yet to receive your notification, then we wish you more success next year. Keep a smile on your face. I mean, that looks very much reminiscent of old school, of Beneath the Steel Sky. It's not. But I would love to see Beneath a Steel Sky memorabilia within that history museum. Firmware. Update confirmed! Yeah! And now, poses, yoga, and transcendental meditation. Now available at the City Mindfulness Retreat, sponsored by the Ministry of Wellbeing. Because you know you're worth it! Please send your replies to the Moonbeam Shanty Bliss. To Moonbeam, sorry. Moonbeam Shanty Bliss for further information. No attachment, please. Keep a smile on your face. Ministry of Plenty. Dear citizen, kind of low and feeling down? Come and play with Spankles the Clown. Meet Mr. Spankles at 128 Devonshire Boulevard. Remember, no kids after 3 p.m. Keep a smile on your face. Ministry of Plenty. Dear citizen, looking for an aspiration day gift for your loved one? Bedouin. Bedouin? Yeah. Or Buadin. You, because that's the beginning of beauty. Hmm. Alright. Well, anyway. Beauty in beauty salon. Salon? Salon. Yes, yeah, not saloon. Salon in business for over 20 years. Can pamper you, you or your loved one. Find us at Astoria852. Keep a smile on your face. Right, so now I've seen all those, but I still can't access the messages here. But somehow you were able to access my data, which doesn't seem right. You're going to be exactly the same, aren't you? Yeah? Cool. Okay. Great. Milo's trail was running cold. I needed to check out Graham's home. Yeah, I've got no idea where Graham's home is. Hi. It's most excellent to see you again, Graham Grundy. The pleasure is all mine. How can I be of assistance today? Uh, no, none of those. I was hoping that there would be a direct me to my home kind of thing. Oh, look, are those. I've been thinking about getting my haircut lately. Really? Yeah, I'm not sure it suits me anymore. I prefer something a bit more asymmetrical. You just want to look more like grass, don't we all? Right, well this is Cafe de Spankles. Hooray! Another customer. Hold on, customer. All right. Yo, well, let's see if I'm going to set off any alarms just by. No, oh, so you knew what I wanted. One got miss premium spangles. Thank you. 
Can I talk to you? The droid had been designed to deliver service with a smile. Now that I'd resolved my outdated U-chip problem, it was time to look deeper into my alter ego, Graham. Yeah, I thought that's why I said talk to it. Oh, lovely cakes and things here. Eh? Hey, D-Roid, I want to talk to you. Excuse me. Greetings, citizen. Have you come for another extra large fluoride orange spankles with extra foam? I have not. I don't know if that's my sort of thing. Incorrect. According to your order history, it is your new favorite beverage. My order history? Indeed, Citizen Graham. You love it. Oh. Uh, do you know the aspiration brooch? You sound an awful lot like that aspiration brooch droid. Hollow? I guess so. Are you the same model? Correct, sir. And how proud I am of that, too. Good. Hollow is a fine droid. An honorable droid. You're a real fan, huh? No, sir. I'm a real droid. <laughs> well, what do you do here? My name is Barry, and it is my pleasure to serve fresh, crisp, premium spankles to the wonderful people of Union City. Do you prepare the spankles to order? No, sir. That would be unforgivably inefficient. I merely have to collect the flavor from the dispensary, and voila! Mm. Any chance of a coffee? Spankles? No, no, a coffee. A cup of joe. Toffee-flavored spankles? No, coffee. Coffee flavored caffeinated coffee. Coffee. You haven't even tried a spankles. I have no idea what you're saying right now. However, all ranges of spankles include 250% of your recommended caffeine intake. Cool. Okay, well, I'll tell me more about spankles. Simply scan your YouTube here on the counter, Citizen Graham. <laughs> Great. What flavors are available? No need, Citizen Graham. Your favorite flavor will be provided from your order history. I assure you. If you are unhappy with the result, your taste buds can be recalibrated. Right, but how do I know what to order? And what is my favorite if I do not try new ones what every do you so know often? about the council? The democratically elected body of Union City government, as introduced by Joey. His final gift to Union City was to transfer leadership to those most deserving. I think he died horribly. Do you know anything about missing children? Oh my, that's above my pay grade. Unless they came to this cafe. I doubt it. Nobody else seems to have heard anything. Excellent. I'm glad to find myself synchronized with local knowledge. Now, <laughs> may I recommend you forget your troubles with a cold, crisp can of Spankles. Thanks. See you, you feel a thirst to come in? You talk to me. Spankles can for your terminal. Customer flavor. No, I would like a red refusal. Is the user allowed sprinkles? Yes. Customize the flame to orange fluoride and then play refusal. Alright, well let's try that. I mean, just because it will be fun. Error invalid user. No, the user is not invalid. Oh, there are two things that you can. Oh, open door. Where? Where was this? What did I see? Where is this other one that I am? Cafe audio system. Play lounge music. Okay, that's fine. I was enjoying my time in the piazza, but I doubted I'd learn much about Graham here. Oh, here we are. There's the the VIP lounge door controls. Apologies, but this is the VIP lounge. You do not currently hold the required kudos value. I don't care. I'm going in anyway. Actually, do it that way. Yeah, because what I want to happen is I want to hear the warm welcome sounds, first of all. But you're not going to open the door. Welcome, citizen. Alright, now I want you to just open the door. And I want you to play a refusal and then play a welcome and not let them in. That's awesome.
Woo! I mean, yeah, I don't expect there to be anything in here, but hey, I made it in. Please scan your new chip to place an order. Alright, so I guess you want me to go back to the monopod, right? Oh, here's a monopod that I can go to. So, yeah, if I... Please embark now. Cool. Welcome, oh. Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? Oh. I knew Graham had some sort of connection to Milo's... No, you weapon. don't! How His do you know that? Best. In fact, my only lead. Take me to Graham... My home. Lakeview Apartments. Certainly, Citizen Graham. How on earth do you know so that he had some sort of Graham connection to the murder? Or to the kidnapping, sorry. All you know is he was found dead outside the city. Investigate how Graham is connected with the stalkers. We don't know that he is. Oh, he was probably doing some masquerading as a dead mission for the kids. Graham. I was apprehensive about what I would find. Your wife, but for I a start, and your mentor. The stalker. And whoever he was, Graham was my only lead. Can I go back to the piazza? Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? I can. Awesome. Actually, I'd like to stay here. Of course, Citizen Graham. I just came on to hear your lovely voice, obviously. Now, let me off. Oh, control box. What do you do, control box? Is the water on? Set the flow rate to zero. Is the water on? So you can stop those. I mean, I am probably going to have the lowest rating. It was a hand scanner. Use it. Oh. I see. Because I'm an idiot. Is the water on? There we go. Can yeah, hand. Is the water on? Does it flow which here? If the water is off. Otherwise, yeah, otherwise it will never turn on. Yay! And I got an achievement for watering the plants. Which says... Turn the sprinklers on. Alright, well, I've done that. That wasn't difficult. I didn't actually have to do anything other than press the button. Bird droppings. This particular spot seemed popular with the local birds. Hmm. I wonder if I should feed you or something. Well, I know at least I can come back here. Wow, look at this city. I mean, I can't investigate any of it, but wow, look at it. Oh, I was going to check. The seal on the floor showed my buddy Joey just as I remembered him. Yep. When I left him in charge all those years ago. Watch where you're standing. What's oh, your you're an angry young lady, aren't you? <laughs> your face for one. Excuse your me. teeth for another. <laughs> well, if you hadn't been staring at the floor like a moron, you'd have seen me. You have... Your teeth don't seem to be normal. They seem to be, like, rode behind one another. Do you know where I can find Joey? Oh, I don't know, weirdo. They say he walked into the gap, or sailed across the sea. Either way, he abandoned us all in this place. You don't like it here? Needs more color, wouldn't you agree? Nah. What happened after Joey left? Well, duh. Council runs the city now. Alright. Do you live here? Do I look like I live here? I'm not from around here. Maybe everyone here looks like you. 
Yeah? And what do I look like? Trouble. Keep walking. I didn't catch your name. I'm your mama. <laughs> what? You're weird. Do you know a guy called Graham Grundy? No, don't. Nope. Sounds like a moron. Hi, I'm Graham In Grundy. Case, let me introduce myself. Graham Grundy. Doesn't surprise me. All right. I Bye. To whatever it was you were doing. Oh, really? I miss you. My God, what is yes, going on with those teeth? Very busy. Hey, dirtbag! What's your favorite color? Huh? Red. You heard me. What's your favorite color? Red. Red? Bold choice. Later, man purse. Later, uh, backpack. Ha! <laughs> you got nothing. Clearly not everyone in Union City was quite as courteous as they were happy. Did you steal something from me? No, doesn't look like it. Or at least not in my inventory. Is my U-chip gone away? The seal depicted my friend Joey as he looked when I left him in charge of the city. Clearly he'd made his mark. Good for Joey. Alright, okay, before we go up to the apartment, I think this is where we will leave it. That's what, as fun as this isn't, you're still here. Alright, uh, save game. Grand's apartment, manual save number one. Played for two and a half hours. Well, there we go. That's great. So, we will be back to this on Tuesday. At my regular time. Which is 9.30 in the morning UK time. Which is whatever the appropriate time is for you around the world. I'm certain if you look up the schedule in my in the Twitch channel, it will tell you. But, until then, thank you all for being here and having watched me play this. I am Richard. This has been LM, TD, TM, FFR, or, say it with me now, Limited time offer, no vowels, and I will see you all next time.